Uh, the past few nights I've worked on the fenders of the duster and uh, this afternoon when I got up I decided uh, what do I want to work on I can't work too late because I got a doctor's appointment at uh, 10 50 in the morning so I need to get up around nine o'clock so I've been out here a couple hours cleaning out the car and the shop I had Two big four jacks in here, two pressure washers, uh, there was some various other stuff I can't even remember now. My welder was back up there, but I've got the majority of the junk cleaned out. I'm going to get that fender and I guess put it inside my garage, so I don't know what to do with it. It's got some bare metal on it. I don't want to leave it outside. But, anyway, um, so, just wanted to show the big pile of dirt, and I left the fan running, that fan right there, that's a 36 inch chicken house fan, and I've got this other fan over here, oh, I think it's a 24 inch, got that from Harbor Freight, I had that blowing into the shop, and that one there sucking out, and... Even with both of them running and me blowing everything out of here, I still got that much crap to sweep up. But my plans are tomorrow. I'm going to come out here and uh, let's see if I get on this side, I can reach it better. I've got to sand a little bit right around the cracks there. And, um, I go all the way around there. There's several places I gotta get do some seam sealing. Um, mainly up around there, up around here, and I gotta do parts of this. I can't block these holes up because that's where the water drains out from the cow. I've got a seam seal inside the back side of that. They had all that just packed and level full of tar from the factory. There's a plastic piece that screws in from that side and it comes out and meets the edge of the finger wall to keep crap from flying all back into the door jam area. And uh, I gotta clean all this off. It keeps flash rusting. I've got metal shavings down there that I guess stuck in the wet primer and it keeps it rusting on top of it. It's not under the metal, it's on top of it. But get me a little nylon brush and some something to clean it out, waxing grease remover probably. And, uh, but I got a seam seal all up through there, and I'm not bothering to take that hood hinge off. From the looks of it, it's still got some seam sealer from the factory up in there. So, my phone to focus. Right. See. Up in there is one area I'm talking about. Here's another. There's still factory seams over there, which looks to be in good shape. I'm going to leave it. Got a couple areas. Looks like a spot where I guess I welded on the inside and it burnt some of the paint off. Yep. Got to fix that. But anyway, that's pretty much my plans for tomorrow. Gotta clean out tonight. I'm just gonna sweep up that pile of dirt, turn off the lights. Oh goodness! The muscle I pulled in my ribs is killing me. But uh, get this cleaned up tonight and go to my doctor's appointment tomorrow and come out here and do a little scuffing and all the cracks and crannies of this thing and get all this thing sealed. I've got a couple of spots out here like we're all welded. I gotta seam seal that. Yeah, they didn't seem so all this in the factory, but I don't know. Since I've already got some out here, if I got enough seam to it left over, I'll go ahead and wipe some in it. But, um, that's about it. After I get that seam seal tomorrow, if it ain't too late, and I feel like it, the, uh, the roof, the only areas I really got to worry about anything 
It's right up here. That's the only areas I gotta worry about. That's where I cut off the part that was rusted through. And um, got an area right here. I guess water keeps dripping from the roof or something. But it gets little spots of rust. I gotta sand that back off and do that again. I'll get her taken care of. But uh, anyway, if I feel like it tomorrow after I get all that seam sealed, I may uh, start working on the roof. And um, I know there's a few dings in it. I'm gonna get them, uh, I'll just spray some guy coat over it all after I get it cleaned off. And uh, take a block at it with some 180 and uh, see where the dings are. Fix the dings. Um, I know there was a little one on the other side that was right about here. Looks like a stick or something. I just whacked it. It's a little small dent. It's running like that. And, uh, other than that, I've got the sides here done really nice. I took care of them a while back. In the places back here where the lead was all messed up. And uh, there was some spots down here. I don't remember what they were, but I got... Oh, I remember now when I was putting the deck lid off and on, I dented it right there. So when I put this thing back off and on there, I'm going to have to have help. And uh, I'd planned on painting this car with the deck lid on it, but it's not going to be doable because I just cannot get paint down inside the jam area underneath there with the deck lid on it. It's too tight of an area. I might be able to do it with my little touch-up gun, but... Uh, going from a 1.3 tip to a 0.8, I'm worried about color match, and yeah, it is in the door jams, but still, that's my OCD kicking in. I worry about the color match. So, um, yeah. Uh, so far, my plans are is to uh, paint this thing with, um, I'm going to, after everything else is done and primered and ready, and I think I'm finished with it. I'm gonna go ahead and sand all this in here, and I'm going to paint all the engine bay up to the bottom of this. And from here up to the cowl, all that will be painted outside with all this part here, the door jams, the outside of the car, the roof, the quarter panels, and just the jam of the trunk. I'm not actually going to paint inside the trunk at the same time as the car. Um, it'll probably be a two-day thing because painting inside that trunk is a pain in the dang butt. Um, I will never do it again after this car, I promise you that. Not unless it's my own. So, I, I tell you how bad I dislike doing it. If somebody asked me, to paint another trunk jam, it'd be $3,000 just for the labor. Especially if I had to take everything off like I had on this. I mean, yeah, it was just a dang nightmare. It's, uh, it's rough on my old body, crawling around there, flip-flopping back and forth. I've spent way more hours in that trunk than I care to mention. <laughs> but, here's my uh, goofy update. This one again is approaching the nine minute mark, so Better cut her off. Like, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a thumbs up. Appreciate it.